All right, so I'm just going to share with you a quick trade on the pound dollar. This is more from a swing trading perspective. Uh, I've had lots of questions about swing trading um, since I put out a couple of ideas, a couple of trading videos, and then we had Tim on explaining how he trades, and it seemed to be attractive to a lot of people. And I always say, if you're new, you want to concentrate on the higher time frames anyway because it's going to allow you to keep that consistency, and that's the most important thing uh, in trading to give you an edge because as soon as you start losing that consistency if you're a 50 55 percent even a 60 percent um trader you know you don't want to start missing trades or jeopardizing your system because you don't have too much of a buffer so swing trading suits the lifestyle of people just getting into trading they, they can only dedicate a certain amount of time to their charts uh, so trading on the dailies and even the four hours is going to help you out with that but essentially what we was looking at is um, we're out on the daily time frame. Okay, you guys know that there was this uh, this big trend line here that was broken. We also had um, this most recent um, break to the downside. We had a new low and then we had a new low. So I was actually looking for shorting opportunities on this pair. And what we did is we we had we identified that we were moving. So we were in bearish trend. We had our pullback, put in a new low, and we had another pullback. And as the price action pushed back, had this little three bar reversal here, um, we had this bullish momentum and then we started to run out of steam. Um, price action, we had this high test candle uh, right here, which indicates that there's a, a rejection there. So the um, bears are rejecting the bulls. Um, and then we got orders in place. So technically we put orders in um, below the low of the candle and then stops above the high, got a, in at a bit of a better price on this. Um, before I show you that, I'll just explain um, some other confluence here as well. So we had some, uh, we had this bear bullish divergence on the RSI, we was putting in lower lows and higher lows on the RSI. Uh, and then we pulled back up, all of this confluence went in, came into play, um, got involved at uh, 32.73, Okay, very, very minimal risk. And then it's about a two, I think this is a two, let's just double check. Let's copy and paste this. One, two, two, over a two to one. Okay, which on this account equates to about just over 2%. So if we hit, um, if we hit targets on this, it'll be a very nice trade, but I'll update you later. All right, guys. Uh, just updating you on this trade. It took a couple of days to play out this one. Uh, as expected, it's a swing trade. A couple of days is pretty quick, to be honest. Um, but a few couple of days to play out. We had um, the entry. We got our targets in place at a retest of those lows there. And we've just hit targets. So we've pushed down. We hit 108 pips out of this trade, which is pretty decent. Uh, that's really, really sort of propelled the account this week. So if you are interested in swing trading, let me know. Put some comments in below and I'll share more of my swing trading strategies for you uh, because it appears that people are really coming in and wanting to, that because they come into tier one and they get a realistic expectation, they start to appreciate that swing trading might be a bit better for them. So um, if you put a comment below this video, uh, I'll let I'll let you uh I'll let you decide if you want to learn more about my swing trading strategies. So put a comment below. I've got nothing else to market. I'm in the 26.18 still on the Aussie dollar. But other than that, the market's been a pretty... Um, <laughs> I think it's just... I think it's safe to just go and watch the World Cup instead. So uh, I'll see you in the live room.